Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Steve. We're the Mistbusters. Alright, in this installment of the operator's manual, we're going to go ahead and show you how to clean and maintain your protopipe. Here's a couple things that you're going to need to get started. Some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. Take the Q-tip, get a little damp in the rubbing alcohol. You don't want it dripping. Take the Q-tip, stick it in the threaded end of your atomizer. Work it around the threads. Pull it out. You can see that it's a little bit gray there. That actually can affect the contact for the batteries and pre uh, prevent uh, you from getting good vapor. Also take it and put it in the threads of the pipe. Twist it around. Get those edges clean pretty good. A lot of gunk in there. Okay, so that's clean. Then you want to take it, and this front magnet here is where the power goes through to the atomizer. So that one can get a little dirty. So we want to take the cotton swab and rub that down a little bit. You can also take the batteries out and get the little battery posts at the bottom of the batteries too. Then you take the cotton swab and the cap and the little notched end, the front end, Clean the brass there, that's the most important part. If you notice that you're getting any black residue on there, you want to clean that off with a little bit of alcohol. You can clean the back, but it's not that important. And where the batteries touch on the long strip in the center. And that's pretty much it for cleaning the pipe itself. We're going to go into a little bit more detail now about how to thoroughly clean the atomizer. This should be done once a week, really. Um, you know, for sanitary reasons, you know, amongst other things. Um, also, I've found that it really helps if you get any flavors in there that you really don't like. Uh, I can tell you from personal experience, you know, we were, try we were messing around one day and we tried a bacon flavor and uh, you know, we'll just say that it didn't taste very good. And I tried covering it up with orange menthol and next thing you know I had orange menthol bacon. And so there was nothing I could do to get this flavor out of my, az my atomizer except to just thoroughly clean it. So now we're gonna show you how to do that. All right, you wanna take your atomizer and put it in a small container. Doesn't need to be a very big container because you don't wanna waste alcohol. You pour the alcohol into the container. I'm not actually gonna do this, but just let it soak in the alcohol for a couple hours. Uh, then you want to take the atomizer out of the alcohol and rinse it thoroughly. Run it under the faucet for several minutes, clear it out, blow it out with your mouth like we showed you uh, with the um, uh, filling your cartridge, a, a new cartridge. Um, <clears throat> and then set it on a paper towel and let it dry overnight or for a good period of the day. Um, it does take an awful long time for these to dry out and it's a good idea to have a third atomizer for this reason um, in case something were to happen with the one that you already have uh, or that you're using this one won't be ready for at least half a day uh, if you do have canned air canned air can be used you want to put it in the uh, threaded end and blow it out I use my compressor uh, it gets these suckers ready in, in a matter of minutes uh, rather than having to let them dry overnight. 